Hello Internet, Lieutenant Ellis here with the 299 Scouts. Danger skills for dangerous places. When we last left off, I showed you how I packed my race rough. Everything's nice, compact, tight, easy to manage. The load's not shifting around on me as I'm running for 12 miles. But uh, if I wanted to pull out an extra uniform in here, it's going to be quite a pain in the ass because i got to go in there, I've got everything compressed down. So I'm going to show you how I actually prep this for patrols or operations, where if I need to pull out an extra uniform, I need to pull out something from my ruck, it's all easy to get to. The difference between our race ruck and our operational ruck is that I'm going to open up this divider here and I'm going to use the full space of the rucksack. The first thing that goes in my rucksack on the bottom of it is I put my sleep system. And now I don't put my sleep system in the compression bag, even if I had another compression bag. I'm just going to put it in a trash bag and I'm going to waterproof it because uh, I would pretty much just kill myself if I ever got my sleeping bag wet. You're letting the sadness of the swamps get to you. You have to try. You have to care. But the reason I don't compress this down too tight is because I want this soft and mushable and moldable. I want it to be able to like take up all the space down here, the nooks and crannies. I don't want a dense volleyball like we did with the pain pill. Next one that comes up is all my pain pill with all my compressed down uniforms and stuff I'm not really gonna use. And that all gets compressed down and sits in the middle of the rook. Now that's pretty heavy, but it's nothing compared to what's gonna come later. I'm not afraid. You will be. The secret of waterproofing our uniform sets is these two and a half gallon jumbo Ziploc bags. Two and a half gallon Ziploc bag will fit an entire uniform set. Shirts, underwear, pants, socks, and shirt, all in here together. This way, you can reach into your ruck and you can pull out an entire uniform set all together, fully assembled, ready to just throw on and wear. This came in handy when we did river crossings, come across the other side of the river crossing. I was in a winter class, so they allowed us to change uniforms and warm up by the fire for a second. Definitely nice, not having to root through the entire, entire rucksack, trying to find all the different pieces. They were all here together. All I had to do was pull out a plastic bag, and I knew that everything I needed was uh, in one place. If you're fancy, they make different sizes of these vacuum bags. These actually press down so tight. It actually start you can actually roll it. And I can either roll it, keep it compact, or I can actually spread it out flat and line the inside of my rucksack with these flat panels of compressed complete sets of uniforms. Okay, so that still leaves all this space here at the top. What do you think goes up here on the top? Well, depending on your mission, it's going to be all the other actual operational stuff you're going to be utilizing. I know what it works out for most people is like they pack their ruck, their ruck's all perfect, they fill it with all kinds of pogey bait, and then lo and behold, right before they step off, platoon sergeant comes by and says, all right, everybody grab two ASAP batteries, or everybody uh, grab some mortar rounds to cross load from the mortar section, and you got to figure out a place to put that, or your mop suit. In the sniper section, I have an ASAP radio up here. I had tripods for the sniper rifles. Anything that you get from the army is gonna be way heavier than anything you could have packed for yourself. So this part up here is always left empty. All your heaviest, uh, most important items for the actual operation will be up top. Uh, you can go to any uh, hardware store, pick up heavy duty chain, and that'll really help simulate like, you know, getting 200 rounds of 240 ammo at the last minute and tossing it up on the top of your ruck. If I need to get down to my sleep system, it's down here in the bottom. This is also where I stick my emery. So remember I said I kept it soft and not compact and compressed down. That way I can mush in emery's on these spaces down here. On the side pouches here, the stamen pouches, I have gallon Ziploc bags full of socks, brown t-shirts, things that if I need to just do a quick change uh, on a break or we're doing foot checks in ranger school, Sit you down as best I can. If I need additional support, I take my drawstring, run it across, use it as an additional compression point. And once again, the objective is not to keep everything compact and compressed down, but just to maximize space and to make sure that that load, that weight, is as high up on your back as you can get it. 
All right, Amen. here it is, my operational ruck. This is my patrol ruck, the ruck that I'll be living out of for 10 days or so in the field. Uh, it's got my sleep system, it's got all my uniforms, uh, either ready to go or compressed down so they're out of the way. And I've got all the things, all that squad equipment is up here, up high on top, and the load's gonna be centered. But uh, this is what I'll be living out of for 10 days, so good luck out there, stay safe, and uh, keep training. You should look on the bright side of things, Corporal. Yes. For one thing, you don't need to carry those. You'll need that. I need this. 